and welcome to today's quilt chat. It's our special Christmas edition. I know, and you know what? I don't know about you, but as a kid growing up, we always did something special in making ornaments. And so we've brought some ornaments today to talk about and to show. Um, and so do you make some kind of special ornaments, Anne? I have in the past. I crocheted some stars with a, kind of almost a, a thread-like uh, consistency and starched them afterward. But and they look great on the tree. They do. They? they look beautiful like a sparkly snowflake. Yes. And Betsy? Oh, when the kids were little, we loved to craft and create. And so we were always making little ornaments and gifts and my girls were quite creative and came up with some crazy things. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you know, I'm a certified Zentangle teacher and so we can have some fun using Zentangle in our designs. And we have put a pattern on our blog for the Zentangled Star, I think is what it's called. So if you go to aqsblog.com, you'll find that pattern. And I have just printed out two on one sheet of cardstock. And then you just cut them out. And so the back side are the fold lines so that you can make it three dimensional. But the front side then is just plain. And so Here's one that I did and I have it all folded and I used a micron pen for the black ink work and I used a gold metallic jelly roll for my star oh. in the center. And then you can just take a needle and thread and make yourself a little hanger and hang those on your mm -hmm. tree. That almost looks like foil in the center. You had me fooled there. It does. And you know, there are lots of different pencils that you can go along the edge with to make them sparkle. Mm -hmm. um, and I didn't do that. But I would encourage you, this is a great project for kids. And so uh, just some colored pencils, Crayola colored sure. pencils, and let, them, and let them have at it. And then once you get all done, I will give you a little tip on folding these, is that the long star points get folded out. And the, and the piece that is um, dotted, is it gets folded in. And you know how we always get these cards for our room keys when we go to hotels? Yes. Uh -huh. That's the perfect thing to lay oh. there and to be able to bend these right where you want to bend them. Because most of these lines, oh, I guess they do. Well, see, this one goes up and that one goes down. So they go opposite directions. Uh, but the but the old room key trick or a credit card too mm -hmm. would work the same way where you've got a nice straight edge and it's small to work with. Uh, so I'll encourage you to go to our AQS blog and print off some of these designs yes. and get those grandchildren busy. Oh, I will definitely do that. <laughs> I'm, I've got that planned. Uh, how, may I ask, you've got on the back side, you've got the folded lines. Yes. And so on the front side, you've just taken a curved line down that center where the fold is. And, you and can, that's where you did just a simple straight lines and tangle. It is. And, and actually, I will tell you what I did is I took my nail and just pre-folded this a little tiny bit. So you bit. knew where to, so I knew to make exactly your lines. where mm -hmm. that line was. And then this one gets folded the other way. So I'm going to use my nail on the other side to push that. And so do you see now I have a guide? Mm -hmm. um, sure. And you basically could find the center point and then draw those lines on this side if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. um, or, you know, if the, if the kids were doing it, I'd just let them color it all do in and do like. some, some doodles and, and just color it all pretty and then go back and fold it. And then, of course, the magic happens once you get it all folded because mm -hmm. you, you make it like this and out of that flat piece of paper, we made a three-dimensional star. And I also find that if you give them just a little suggestion of something to do, say you're sitting there doing one, and then it's like, oh, Grandma, I want to do that. Mm -hmm. and, you know, and, and they mm -hmm. think up crazy concoctions yes. of their own. Yes, well, so fun project. Hopefully and this grandma will have some new ornaments on her tree by, okay, the, cool. by the end of Christmas Day. Well, and so after Christmas, maybe you can bring those in and show us. And so we'll I'll have some see how that goes. After. I'm not going to make any promises. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Betsy, what do you have in front of you? Look at how beautiful these are. Aren't they gorgeous? These, this is the fabric cadabra ornament that Paula Nadelstern does, and she's going to be teaching this at Daytona Beach. Wonderful. Yes. Wow. And I know that class is filling, so if you want in on that, 
All right, and then Mindy Birch, who works here in our office, yes. has magical been making Mindy. these. That's magical Mindy. Do you know, she <laughs> comes every week, she comes to the office with something she did over the weekend. So she's, she's so always she's has very, her hands very busy. Creative. Yes. She's okay, so show them, show them the other side. But Mindy brought this one in for us because we were, we were also curious as to where the stop and start is with this fabric on this ball because it's hard to find. And so Mindy did a halfsy for us. So she's got half gorgeous and half soon to be gorgeous. And she has shown us how she very cleverly has hidden with little tucks and folds where, these, where this fabric comes together so that she can, like, show us her magic. So she centered the star on... Uh, it's, it, on it's the fabric, if you can see the fabric. Right. And she put it mm -hmm. right at her point where she wanted right. the top to be. And you can see that that's kind of what's done here. Sure. I think that's probably the... I believe it the, is the same thing. Right, mm -hmm. the magnum opus star. Beautiful. Isn't it just gorgeous? And, and I you can have so much fun. Talk oh, about a, a stress reliever. You know, it's just, mm -hmm. just get your colored pins yes. out and your sequins and go to And don't the crazy. pearls make that star it's beautiful? They do. And so it's like the styrofoam ball in the center and then you use the pins to attach the beads. And this is, when I was a little girl, this was so fun. I remember doing this sort of thing. You did. Right? Oh, oh, I had I never done anything it. like this. Except I we didn't it. have this beautiful didn't. fabric. Oh, <laughs> true. And I certainly never did anything so fancy. This was very grown up. I did just like a bead and a sequence. You know, just the the little pretty foil mm -hmm. sequences we used to have back in the 70s. And then a little uh, bead with it. And these are just so gorgeous. I mean, there's just all the different ideas of how she's combined beads. Look at this one. Look at this little, little detail used. that she's added there. Aren't they incredible? And Mindy mentioned that you can get the, the beads and things at any local hobby store, I believe. Isn't that pretty? Know. So pretty. Michael's or a... This will have you looking at little Trotsky stuff to pick up in true. the bead department oh, a whole right, different true. way, won't it? It does. And it's just really elegant and it's something that can sit out year round. I would put this on like a candle pedestal. Oh know, yeah. Right? So if you wanted so to beautiful. hang this, you could just put a ribbon and pin it in there and then have yes. a hanger that would go on it. Yes. And I would use a couple pins so one goes one direction, one goes the other. That way you're not tearing anything up. It's like a kaleidoscope. It is just like a kaleidoscope. Mm -hmm. That's a great way to say it. Well, you know, stars are always popular. I did stars in the Zentangled Star. Um, we have a quilt on the table that has stars. And this is Anne's quilt. This is my quilt, but I didn't, didn't make it because, uh, you know, last week we talked about piecing. I don't know that I could piece this perfectly. This quilt was pieced by Bettina Havig. Um, I purchased it actually at the silent auction from the National Quilt Museum mm. uh, from their exhibit at uh, Fall Paducah. And I was thrilled to, to have the opportunity to receive this top for a really good price. So if you come to our Quilt Week events, be watching for the National Quilt Museum's uh, silent auctions. A lot and of good deals. Good you just deals. had this quilted, right? I did have it quilted. Yeah. And, and so uh, it's, an, it's an all-over quilting. Mm -hmm. um, but with the patterns and all the stars, like, you don't need more than that. No, no that's you? what I thought, too. And it's a nice Civil War reproduction mm -hmm. mix, isn't it? It She's is, and it's not something that I would have normally fabric. picked. I, I wouldn't have gone to the fabric shop to pick these particular fabrics, but the way that she put them together, it makes a very casual... It's beautiful. And so on the wall behind us, we have yes. an 1850s quilt, a feathered star, uh, and it uses a red and black dot in it, which makes it look very modern, it does. doesn't it? It does, so fun. And that just quilting. like that beautiful quilting we saw of Anita Shackelford's last week, oh, this is, unbelievable. This is yes. the same kind of gorgeous quilting on it. It's so beautiful. I can just about see a woman sitting at a table with a circle or maybe the bottom of a of a glass and drawing very carefully the circles that she was going to quilt. It's really, really well done. It's beautiful. Well, so we have other things going on, even though it's the holidays. Uh, on the 19th, registration will open for the general public for the Lancaster Quilt Show. So yesterday? Oh. That's right. Yes, 
yesterday. Yes. I'm a I'm a I'm a day behind already, yes, aren't I? Right. <laughs> it's the holidays that always happens, Bonnie. Yeah, really. Um, and and then the, if you are not currently a member, I would put a membership on your uh, Christmas list so that that hubby or your significant other could call in and get you a membership for AQS. And it, if, you, if you do it now, then when we send out the notice for the January 9th opening for AQS members for right. Spring Paducah, you'll get that the link. One. That is. <laughs> and we have a whole battery of really great teachers again this year. Oh, uh, so uh, if you want to register, uh, no, if you want to buy a membership or you want to give this number to somebody who can go online and, or on the phone and buy it for you, then uh, call our order number, and that's 1-800-626-5420, and our staff will be happy to fix you up with a membership as a gift. Or if you want to give a gift certificate, too, you can order that by calling that order number. I wonder when hotel rooms start to become available for Spring Paducah. Oh, uh, that list is already on our is website. Yeah. Yes, Good. if you just click on the uh, I'm just button. thinking, in case someone's wanting to think ahead, oh. a planner, you know. Uh, and it also <laughs> tells whether or not they have openings. Uh, mm -hmm. There are still rooms available for the Spring Paducah show. Yay. You'll see some of them say no, and that means that they're already filled. You know, one of my favorite things about the Spring Paducah show, and it's so unique to the show, I had never seen it all the times I've been to Paducah, except for one year I was there early, and all of a sudden all this music started. And I was, you were able to in the showroom floor, and it was fun band music. Oh. And then came women with little teeny tiny quilts. And a stream of quilters came when the quilts got bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you had the, the Paducah Tillman marching all band around. all behind us. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. And it was just so incredible. I have to it's confess, fun. I almost cried. <laughs> so it was just the neatest thing. It's I exciting. Had ever it's seen. an exciting start. Well, if you're wanting to be part of the parade, I, we want to invite you to join our Project Parade Facebook group where we're doing show and tell. Oh. Yes. Okay. So as soon as you finish a project all throughout the year, just come and just share it. And tell so us this your is story. new? Yes, it's new. a new Facebook group we have. Okay. And so you can find us there on Facebook. And Project Parade, if you'll just search for that, AQS Project Parade. And it's kind of inspired off of that idea of that wonderful parade at Paducah that you just, if you've never seen it, you've got to see it. It's well, incredible. and let me just tell you who gets invited to participate in that. Who does? Because it's the people who are registered for Paducah get an email saying oh, if wonderful. you want to participate in oh. the Quilters Parade at the opening of the show, you I know, wondered. bring a small quilt that you can hold in two hands because you don't want choking somebody with a great big quilt. <laughs> oh, that's true. Um, but, but we have many quilters. And of course, the Paducah, Til uh, the Paducah Tillman Band oh, is our local they band are. who, they, I think they get as much fun out of it as the quilters do. And you know, the vendors are always in there taking footage as the band comes through. Mm -hmm. It hits Facebook before we ever get out of the room. Yes, <laughs> that's right. But it's fun that's and right. it's a real energetic and a fun way to open. And we do that uniquely here in Paducah. Yeah. So we just so wanted to fun. carry on that tradition throughout the year because we love, love seeing everybody's quilts and seeing what you're up to, what kind of projects you've got going on, especially in this new year coming up. Okay, um, and so um, the next week we won't be here because right. we're going to take the week off. We are. Um, but what's a Christmas wish that you want to give everybody? Oh, wow. May your stitches be straight. And your needle never skip, right? Oh, oh that's a that. good one. <laughs> that's a good one. How about you, Ann? I'd say may your heart be bigger and bigger, and uh, maybe that'll lead you to making a quilt for someone. Uh, well, and I will just say Merry Christmas, and I hope that you're spending time with your family, yes. as we will be. And um, we will look forward to talking to you again in the new year. We're going to take... Christmas week off, and we'll see you in January.